because synod and anniversary just two weeks Don't be angry when you hear me say I am no longer an ordinary man. Don't be angry about it. When I said that I will no longer sleep in the night all the days of my life, I know what I mean. That is all the days of my life I will no longer lie on bed in the night. It's not possible again. All the days of my life, I will no longer go to supermarket. I will no longer go to hospital. I will no longer travel to any country outside Nigeria. Listen, I will never go to any country. I will never enter into any, any embassy. Except if I don't want to be here. But if I want to be alive on earth, I will never enter into any embassy. The time I will be entering plane is coming to a short time too. just to go to Galilee. I am dead and I don't want to live anymore. My body died. So when I said it's a privilege, I'm not looking for popularity. What will I be doing with it? I've died to will. I'm just saying officially because I've not always been alive. I have not always, no, I've not always been alive. I was telling them that on Wednesday night I came here and I was writing course and my head was pinning me so vigorously and then the pain came to my neck. And then it came to my shoulder. And then I knew how people get stroke for the first time in my life. It happened in that office in the midnight. Because I was, okay, Wednesday night, Wednesday morning. I finished teaching on, on, on Tuesday. I made a chapter of a book where I was writing that the glucose in me finished. And I knew it. And then I, because it's not today I started having finishing of glucose, it's not new. And then when my, that my neck was bending to my shoulder to my head, I was still writing what I was writing. Now the more I was writing, the more the pain was increasing on my head. When I got home on Wednesday morning, I lie down there waiting to write. I tell Satan, I said, I'm not looking for healing. What I just want to do is to write. Huh? I said, I don't want, I'm not looking for healing. I told God that I'm not looking for healing. And I managed to go to my seat. I was making my neck like that. And I went to my seat. I sat down there from 9 in the morning till 7 in the evening with my neck like that. And I didn't even take a break. My neck became well on its own. I will just do like this to my paper. <laughs> wow. 
Let the hand let them. The pain was increasing, and I bought. I said, if I can see my paper. Talking about it, sometimes it doesn't make much meaning to ordinary minds. But I know immortality. So I came to preach a message God gave me by command and vision to preach. Not only really because I really wanted to preach it. But I want to do two things. Advance some people and then open some people's eyes to greatness. Greatness doesn't come through luck. It is something a man understands. Let me say again. I say greatness is something a man understands. It's an understanding. You don't need to have money yet. Just understand. Now, that understanding separates us because it controls the way we behave to ourselves. I'm not from a rich family now. Don't you know my village? My mother doesn't speak English. Ah, but I under but I understand greatness. Ah. It's not today that I started feeling numb in my brain because of fatigue. But I that pain has continued there. It will go. When I rest a little while, it will reduce. Then I started hitting it. Somebody suggested. He said, you need rest. I said, I will rest after two weeks. It's not now. This brain will, will come down. After tent. And it will come down for one week. Before I start another fasting. But if it's to go to grave, I will never be buried. Whatever that key men, I will do nothing with it. It's a choice. But if it's to not to come here, I will come here every night until I go to heaven. Let me say it again. I will come to this church every night. <laughs> Maybe somebody didn't hear what I said. I said, I will be in this church with intercessors every night. I didn't say five years. I didn't say 10 years. I didn't say 20 years. The only time I will not come here is if I have gone to eternity. Or I will be shifting from here to Galilee. I am not telling you to come here, but I would like you to, but I'm happy you had it. <laughs> so this seed in my hand is just to thank him. Why I'm kneeling down is because I know him. It doesn't come in the meeting. He didn't come in meeting before he chose me. He didn't invite me for meeting. I know him. He doesn't invite me for meeting before he kills them. I've seen many fools who are claiming to be wise. And yet, there is no fruit of wisdom around them. Because if you say you are a wise man, we will see what wisdom produces. If wisdom doesn't have fruit around you, then you are a liar. So I brought this to thank him. 
he already know what the seed is all about and I said to him those who eat meal from my hand will never die raising this offering I want to ask him to tell me any other thing he wants and I will never struggle if I have not given it to him I will will when I come down from the altar up to the smallest comfort up to pleasure up to anything men can imagine so there will be no death what I am diri to pirin storos I started Lobranesia to Sobrene to Gali Neturusklia. Start talking to him about is the fellowship of death. When I go to sanctuary of the grave, I will say to him, Is there anything that you still need from me? But help me raise young men who love you and give them the good of this world. So that they can further your kingdom. Then he would turn to me and say, like who? Then I will start mentioning some few names that I love. He said, I will do it. Then he would say to me, say, get them ready. If you want me to do it to the extent you want. I am not looking for Lucas Army to be just rich people. I want the Lord to give them the earth. I'm not looking for billionaires. I'm looking for covenant umpires that will take the earth, the soul of the earth. Because there is a determination of God, it is already concluded to make Satan go out. Because of the angel of the age to come. It's not Pentecostalism. It's not singing song in the church and feel nothing. It's not hearing someone and forget what you hear after the service. It's not saying that you love God but you're a cheat. It's not claiming to love God, but small thing gets you angry. There are people that small things get them angry. When there is small provocation, they will forget everything that connects them to God and to some people. That is childish. If it's how we get angry, they will not be coming. Somebody can offend you and you endure for God and other, and other people. There are other people.
man of God was preaching on radio. And I was so angry about how a man can just read a book and came nonchalantly on radio to repeat what he read. I was so angry with that laziness. He doesn't want to suffer to hear God. Shameful preachers. When I finished writing something about 20, 22 minutes to 3, I was about to come here. I got ready for this message. I said to Yahweh, he should tell me the position I will stay to hear him about the anniversary. Two weeks. I said, if you want me to stand up until 6.30, I will stand up. If you want me to kneel down, I will kneel down. If you want me to, if you want me to sit down on my chair, I will. He should tell me just in one word and I will bear him. And then he, he, when he told me, I went there and he brought anniversary to me. Uh, uh, there are people that are nothing because they only look for comfort all their life. Uh, you're following a king that was crucified. All that you want to get from that king is comfort. You want to cheat him. Ah, do you want to cheat him? You want to cheat Jesus and cheat his mother. The mother look at his son that is 33 and a half and watch that son brutalized. She was there weeping on her she, until she lost her son. You want to cheat that Jesus that died that way and also cheat his mother that lost him. All you want to do is to collect something from people and train your own children. But a woman lost her own child. When will it be forgotten? A girl, a girl I prayed to have a child told me one day, I know what I suffered before she conceived. She looked at me one day and said, her, daughter, her son will never be a union. A lot of locals and women have told me that. They will look at my face. I say, your, your son will not, be, will not be a eunuch, but you're enjoying the honor of a eunuch. You have forgot that I have mother. And you go to churches where pastors are lying. We are selfish pastors are lying. Police was suggesting to me, say, hey, uh, somebody said we should bring that man of God to come and talk. I said, which man of God, after Lucas I me mean, 25 years, I will sit down here. And we will we'll sit down here. And uh, another another person. Huh? We come and talk about the church he doesn't know anything about. You want to come and tell me 25th anniversary of Lukosan? Or tell me grammar? Can I tell a young man something? Huh? One of the books I will make during 40 days is Power is a Being and a Becoming. And I will write that from the original root word. That's my first book on the original root word of everything. That is something that God was thinking before he said anything. We call it root word. <laughs> something that God, before he said anything. So I don't want to relate to what God was said. I want to write it from what God was thinking. Like that root word, I, 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 one of the root word, you know, is like, in, in the thinking of God, huh? 
The word ignorance is the same thing as evil. That means if you don't know what you're supposed to know, huh, you will be you'll be called an evil man. So the word ignorance is translated as evil in the original root word. That is why Jesus, that is why the Jews, when they became ignorant, they killed Jesus. Because being ignorant made them sinners. So this morning, I would like you to pray in a minute, in a short sermon, on saving your way to the top. Top. Save your way to the top. Excuse me. Listen. Don't be religious about it. I want to open your eyes. Don't make it church. I, want, I would like you to look at yourself very well. I'll be showing you scripture. Now, I'm not showing you scripture because, listen, I'm not showing you scripture only. I want to show you scripture just to support what I'm preaching. Even if it's not written in the Bible, I will still preach it. Because what I'm about to say is older than the Bible. I say, huh? I said, even if it's not in the Bible, it is still a truth. So what the Bible did is to support it. Because this truth is older than the Bible. Can you ask God in a second? Give me understanding of this truth. Help, can you pray again? Help me to know that you are watching me. Can you pray it? Can you ask God to help you to know that he's looking at you now? Father, I want to thank you because you, you, you have blessed us in Jesus' name. You may be seated. Serving your way to the throne. I want to make, to the top, I want to make one point. I have a book on serving your way to the throne, but it's out of print. Those of us who love knowledge, you can get it in e-copy of serving your way to the throne. What I will say now is comprehensive in that book. I think it's either 10 chapters or, or 12 chapters. I'm not too sure now. It's either 10 chapters or 12. But I would like you to know that service is an antidote against shame. Let me say it again. Service is an antidote against shame. Now, if somebody is alive on earth and he doesn't have anything, what he has not done is to serve. He hates service. Those that hate service will not be blessed by God. All who are suffering on it today, in today, this is this is after 12. He hates service. You see, because honor, glory, and everything that is attached that make people relevant on it is attached to serve, to service. Listen, don't serve because only of what you will get. Serve to introduce your value. Let me say it again. Serve to introduce your value. I want to make point number three. If all the men that came to the earth from heaven or born by women that went far and affected the earth knew that the only reason people are born is just to serve.
Let me say again. All the people who came to the eighth and they have fitted this eighth very well, they know that the only reason people are born on earth is just to serve. Now hear me. When people deny the reason for their birth, they lose their life. It is possible for somebody to lose his life and still be walking up and down. Whether it is a relationship with God or with ourselves, don't do anything with anybody who is in your life and is contributing nothing to you. Let me say it again. Don't do anything with anybody who is in your life. If you are here, you are a mother or you are a father. Make this, con this consciousness reign in your children. Don't allow your daughter to be taking money from you in the name of daughter. She must take money from you from usefulness. Don't allow her to keep calling you mommy when she's not useful. She's abusing the relationship. Can I, can I give this a gift? The Lord came to me in a vision the day he told me to preach this. I saw a lady doing evangelism and doing follow-up aggressively. And her two of her legs was very dusty. Was very dusty because of going from people's house to house, to shop to shop, to tell people about Jesus. And while she was going, the enemy saw her and shot arrow at her. Why the enemy? The arrow was getting to the leg of that lady so that the lady will stop evangelizing. God got so angry at not only about the arrow, but about the source of that arrow. He told me I should watch it. He said, I will not only punish the, that, I will not only protect that girl from the arrow, I will hurt the source of that arrow with everything that made me God. And then I asked Yahweh, I said, why? He said, it is only a fool that plays with something that is important to him. Then he said, if Satan wants to make him who is God a fool by touching the leg of that girl, then he would put Satan out of existence, what the English man call annihilation. In other words, you don't pray for protection after you are useful. You don't tell God to feed you when you are useful. When you serve. Excuse me. We are we are all evaluated. We are all evaluated from our service. The vehemence. Your holiness is is nothing to God if that holiness doesn't make you useful. Can I further it? Can I further it? Jesus came to the earth, passed through a woman to the earth and then went through brutality. Now, have, the earth is not clean. But God brought his clean son to a dirty earth because he prefers what he gets from us than our life. Let me say it again. I say God prefers what he will get from you, from your life. That was why when it was necessary for Jesus to die, for the church to start, God didn't want him to leave. Because what Jesus came for is more important than his life. So he lost his life. So what use 
what you use is a life that is not is that can serve. Why will God protect somebody that can save? He told me that if set and shot arrow at the leg of a girl that announces her, that who else will announce her? That he has a command to protect that leg. Mark chapter 10. I had a young man said, Daddy, do you love me? I said, I feel like I should kill you. For you to look at a eunuch like me and bring endless love. If I want to love, I will marry a wife and give birth to children. I love only around service. Well, that is what took my life. There is no number I have ever died in the last 20 years that was not a useful number. There is no number I will die in 10 years to come that is a stupid number. For what? And why it is painful is we are talking about pastors meeting synod, and somebody said he doesn't have money. Don't you have lake? I was going up the other day, and they they chop off the 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 iron down, and the two names came to my mind. cover it and I told security man I said before I return back here this thing is covered and they must cover it in the midnight when fools are sleeping you are a young man you don't have money you don't have car and you, are, you are want comfort. You are living. You have lived in somebody's house for five years, and you want comfort. If that way you are looking for comfort is the way the builder of that house was looking for comfort, will it be the first to rebuild it? check go and check all the men who are old and they are poor it is enjoyment that destroy their lives you have a you have a challenge what just came into your mind is another man's name you should be ashamed of yourself Jesus said in the book of Mark chapter 10 listen you know the, why the church is decaying why the church is decaying is because dead men are lying to people who are you who are you to cover the truth the truth is in begging for power inside the truth is inherent power the Jews kill Jesus and they say he is blasphemy. Today, that king is serving over two billion people in their presence. Uh, and they are being mocked for making mistakes. Uh, you don't deny sweat, whether you like the sweat or not. Uh, because sweat will produce answer.
If you look at 10, 43 of the book of Mark, 10, 33, he says, so shall he be not among you. All right. Well, let's look at 42. Who can get it? He said, Jesus. but Jesus called unto them and said unto them, he said, you know that they, they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them. And the great ones exercise authority upon them. Now, number 43. But so shall it not be among you. But whosoever will be great among you shall be your servant. He said, whosoever shall be great among you shall be a servant. Now, the word servant is somebody who is useful. Somebody who is productive. Somebody who dreads. Excuse me. Let me tell you something. Please. Please. I don't know how to explain this. But if you meet a girl, you want to marry her. Don't do prayer or go to a prophet. If you want to know her real value, you will know it with her relationship with work. With her relationship with service. How she feels about duty. You don't do it in the night. You see it. You see, because if you bring her into your house, you will want her. I, I don't, excuse me, except if somebody is an ordinary monkey or chimpanzee. I am thinking, even chimpanzees believe in what I'm trying to say. It, 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 the, the only way that that lady can make meaning to you is through her usefulness to you in that house. If you marry any girl for another reason, you will regret it. Maybe not today. Uh, the king, the king brought his son from heaven to die. And you want to talk about love without it. The love will fail you. Love will turn to infatuation. Tell me one name in the Bible. Ah. In 37, please, I'm not doing long preaching in this service. In 37, Joseph brought evil report to his father. Let me tell you what evil report is. Joseph told his father that his brother, senior, because he was 11 to 1, we were, they were squandering animal in the farm. Every man on earth live, live round about his business. You use work, business to establish destiny. So if somebody tampers with your work and service, then he has destroyed your destiny. Go and check it. I have stayed over 50 years on earth. I have watched so many families sink. The reason that they sink is that some men marry women amorously. They allow infatuation to make them love a lady. Because their mentality is abused. They, they, they said the woman is tall and very fair. That is the way she walks. Shame. If, if pain comes from laziness for a long time, that way she walks will not make meaning. Go to families where people have suffered so much. It is because the sons of those women Married wife for wrong reasons. Uh, the Bible says, maybe you should put your finger. You should put your finger in 
in that place and I'll go to 31. He said, what made that lady vicious? It's something I wanted to read. It just says this. Just service. Excuse me. It's a vow with my spirit. I'm about laughing with you. I will never do anything with Westerners. A Wester is somebody who is who doesn't understand service. My soul hates it very deeply. Now, isn't that why I love I love past them. I love Ben. They were here on Tuesday. They were away with me on Friday. Ah, do you know what it means for somebody? to have personal revelation on work. Do you, know, do you know what it means? For a lady to have personal revelation, for a young man to have a conscience, somebody brought a handbill and he saw the handbill, 10,000, 5,000 and then he saw it upon the chair and she saw it and she didn't feel anything. Another person saw it and said, I see no this coming and this handbill is still here. It's a revelation. The Lord told me in the midnight when I was in that waiting position. He told me that people who serve that tomorrow is their own. That he raises visionaries from service. David dreamt because he was he cared about his father's business. That is the essence of the dream. The dream was born from service. David, before David confronted Goliath, he has already jeopardized his life to kill lion and bear because of the sheep of Jesse. David jeopardized his life. What I mean, maybe, I don't know what a jeopardy is. A, is, a, I don't, is it, is it a, should I make it simple? Does somebody want to die? Just for sheep. He will say, for my sheep to die, it is me that will die. When God saw that, he said, if that is the way you think, then you will be a king in Israel. That way you keep your father's sheep is the way you keep Israel. If I make you a king, and so he made him a king. So you can introduce your value from where you are. Don't say you're looking for a job. Do everything around you now perfectly. Sweep the church with passion. You can make up your mind to say that as long as you are alive, that one sand will not dwell in this sanctuary. Not day, not night. Now, if you don't have eyes to see it, I'm not a giver of eyes. But I'm saying so that it can be oh, you, your eyes can open. Excuse me. Excuse me. Leave Joseph alone. Leave David alone. Even leave Jesus alone. The only reason that beautiful girl Esther could say, if I perish, let me perish. Is because Esther had understanding of service. I want to ask you something. If you are a queen, a daughter or a wife of a king in a land, will you jeopardize your life? No, it's not a long sermon. No, it's not a long sermon. I'm not here for long sermon. The king told me that whatever that is not useful to him, he will not protect. Listen, we serve at different levels. What made me shepherd? Is the level I want to serve. We have different pastors at the different levels. I want to, I want to serve unto death, and not once continuous. That's why when my neck was pending me, I was laughing. I said, "You're an ordinary pain. You don't know anything. If you know where my heart is, you won't tempt me with pain."
the way I love the Lord and the way I love Lucas and you will not tempt me with ordinary pen in the neck. Even if everywhere is spending me. I say you left, you only you went to neck. You're just a joke. Meanwhile, the pain is it from Satan? Is it not from his, his exhaustion? Just to just to empty myself. Just to keep serving. You're a wife of a man. How can something you take from your husband make him love you? How can something you keep taking from a man? All that you want a man to do for you to keep on taking something from you. How can that man you're taking something from continuously love you? How can the man respect you? Oh, you don't need respect. Jesus, Jesus came here to introduce his value to God. So if you want respect, introduce your value and get the respect from it. Proverbs 31. May God destroy the religion that make people valueless. When I came in the night, I came here in the night, I went to supervise the building there, I was opening it. I, I, I have finished writing before, I, I went there around after three. Around after three a.m. now this morning. And I call somebody by that. I call somebody by after three, three twenty-four. My number rang once, and the person picked. And that was the second time it's happening. My number rang. My phone just rang once in that number, and the, the person took it. I had to tell people, I said, listen, there are some things you should hear from us who are preachers so they can know the difference between people. So they can know, you can know the difference between, between people. So that you, you can have somebody who tell me that there is nothing that happened on earth by luck. People introduce their destiny from the way they relate to both cities and work. Listen, if you are not meant for the floor, Nobody will force you to sit on the floor. You don't need money to get up. You just need to understand greatness. Can I say it again? I say you don't need money. No. Ah, what, what God produces or service produces from you is far more important than ordinary money. Look at 3110 of the book of Proverbs. Proverbs. He said, okay. Can you find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above ruby. Now, number, number 11. The heart of her husband doth simply trust in her, yes. so that he sh shall have no need of spoil. Number, number, the Bible said her husband doth trust her. Number, number 12. She, he, he, he says, She shall do him good. And not evil all yes. the days of her life. Yes, yes. She seeketh wool and flax, and worketh willingly with her hands. Yes, number 14. She is like the merchant ships. She bringeth her food from afar. Number, number, number 15. She riseth also while it is yet night, and giveth meat to her household, and yes. a portion to her maidens. He, he, he says she, she riseth also while it is... Now, excuse me, this is not talking about a man. This is about, it's not about a man. It's not a man. This is woman. Waking when people are sleeping. 
to get to get food for household and give to maid. Come, this is not hard working man. He's a woman. And excuse me, this is not suffering. This is introducing value. Some people call hard work suffering. No, this is not suffering. This is saying this is my value. The Bible call her what? Virtuous. Now, if you look at number 16, Solomon, I really appreciate it. He said, Consider the field and buy it. It's good. Does the Bible say it's a husband that we buy? You see what the Bible says? That this woman goes to where they sell land. Some women, the only thing they think about is something your, their husband will give them. It is, this one is opposite. This is a lion church. If you go to lie, that is ticket. If you go to ticket, it is a, it's a lioness that do hunting. I said this is a lioness, is a female lion that, that kill other animals. Not the male. <laughs> somebody, somebody. <laughs> I, I came from a, a, a people that call their wife Oriaco. Shame. Just one single ideology that is contrary to Bible, a people is on the floor. That name is contrary to Bible. So it won't rain. It's a cost name. You want to devalue a woman. That is why a woman doesn't have her husband have not got a good, good job. They don't have anything. But she's buying, she have clothes, she buy gold. You're buying gold and wearing gold when nothing is showing. How does looking good represent a woman's value? What represents a woman's value is virtue. Huh? Huh? You bought all manner of things you use to paint yourself. Are you, are, are you an idol? says that the husband of this woman is nowhere at the gate let's jump I'm, i don't want to be distracted i'm not preaching general message on 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 savings because i've already made a book on it more than about eight years ago excuse me let me ask you to listen delusion is a poison delusion that is somebody who is disenchanted what it means that somebody is paying attention to wrong things So, somebody's energy somebody's energy I'm going to have a meeting with the senior committee I'm going to come there for five minutes to say this is what we should mind there are so many projects but we have two weeks this is a capital one we can pay attention to everything are we confused if we're talking about what this land if I buy everything that show up there will be no money Ah, a lot of things, a lot of taunting, a lot of taunting desire keep pressing on me. I keep on ignoring them. Some of them were even genuine. Even in their genuineness, I know my priorities. <laughs> I said, even I know, I know my priorities. Now, if you look at, I'm sorry, like I'm looking very hard. I'm hard. I'm feeling that way. I'm sorry about being hard, but just keep on listening. 31, 23. Her husband is not in the gates. I say her husband is nowhere. In the gate where he's seated among the elders. I want to ask you, is your husband known? 
at the gate. If people see him tomorrow, does it look like he woke up the same, in the same house with you? Just like the way you represent him is also how he represents you. If you, in 24, he said, she make it linen. The Bible said, keep on, she keep on talking about what she do. And sell it, eat. And deliver it, gidos, unto the young merchant. She keep on talking about, now, number, number 25. Strength and honor are her clothing. And she shall rejoice in time to come. Strength and honor. Uh, do you know that some people are accepted to be housewife in this age? That, that is a man left you in the house in the morning and they walked away and you are saved to sit down there how does the man excuse me if the man give you money for everything you need how can you how can you relate with him uh, you want to send money to your parents secretly how do you get it Does, does it include what he will give you? You want to pay school fees of your junior brother? Does, is he included in what he will give you? You, you have not one day open an account and give your husband some money he didn't know you have. Because you saved it. Because you, virtuous woman, saved it. If you go back to, to, to Mark 10, Jesus said, I will not only save, I will die saving. If you believe me, because I am sent to you by God to tell you this, just change your behavior soon over work don't even start in the work start where you are i used to have cousin he's late now anytime his television has dust anytime his screen has dust he will use the dust to write the name of his wife he will write the name of his wife in that he used that dust So when the wife knows that that scream is dead, when she sees her name there, how will I forget it? <laughs> they are not Pentecostal, but their guy knew the duty of. Huh? Excuse me, every life represents itself in the duty. If you're a man, excuse me, if you can't play your role in your family, then I don't want to say the person is dead. Uh, why I am a shepherd is to come this way, preach living word. Now, I will never miss it. I will never miss preaching a message and somebody takes decision. I will never come bring that word in the most practical way because I don't know religion. I preach things that affect me. I'm about to produce 26 books. I don't want to smile around about it. I, now, God of the heaven, forbid me. I don't want to be happy in two weeks' time if, is, if the 26 are not on this altar. If you have any advice against it, don't even give it to me. Because the essence of life is on what the life produces. So if a life is not productive, productive, then the life is denied. If you look at that 37, if you look at a lot of Sedeli brain of 44 and 45,
If you have eyes to see, see walk. Let me say again. I say, if you have eyes, you will never regret what I said. I feel like kneeling down to tell you. If you have eyes to see, it is awesome to see walk. Seeing walk is being great. In 44 and 45 of the book of of the book of that same Mark, Mark 10. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest yes. shall be servant of all. He said, whosoever around you that is the chiefest, let him be servant. Then in 45 he said, For, this is why I came. Go ahead. For even the son of man came not to be manifested, ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. He, he, he said that when man came out, the son of man came just to serve and keep serving and then give his life every victory jesus ever enjoyed on earth was a victory he enjoyed because he laid down his life to solve problems that belong to others uh, before what before um what's his name the one that wrote see you at the top zig ziglar died Zig Ziglar said, you will get what you want when you help so many people to get what they want. Let me say again. You will get what you want if you help many people to get what they want. So since you were born or this year, how many people have you helped to get what they want? You cannot lack what you need when you help as many people as you can to get what they want. Now, if you look at 1 John 3, 8, 1 John 3, 8, time is going away on me. And then in Hebrew chapter 2, verse number 14, uh, the worst life to live is a selfish life. All the days of your life. Ah. All the days of your life. Don't associate with selfishness. It's an end. It's an evil life. It's a life that is finished. Selfish life. Now, if you can you look at that particular scripture? He that committed sin is of the devil. Yes. For the devil sinned from the beginning. He said, He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned. Then he said, For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that yes. he might destroy the works of the devil. The, for this purpose, I came. Because there is a problem people cause for themselves that I came to solve. The son said, he paid the debt he, he, he didn't owe. I owe the debt that I couldn't pay. Now, people who enjoy what other people labor, we always have problem. Let me say again. I say people who all that they do is to look for somebody to work things and they will take it. They can't stop staying in begging position. Let me say it again. I said, people, who all that they think about is how somebody else should sustain them. They, are, they will not stop staying where? In begging position. And begging position is very precarious. It, it, just, it just depicts absence of God. You see, because nothing multiplies from begging position. One of the last book I wrote is the hanging serpent. I said everything that is of honor comes from hanging. There's something I said there that touched me in that hanging serpent. I say the people of Israel in Numbers 21 murmured against God, murmured against God, and then a snake, a fairy snake from God, beat them because of murmuring. 
And then God wanted, Moses prayed and God said to Moses, don't pray. Make a copper serpent and hang on the pole. Make a copper serpent and hang the copper serpent on the pole and tell lazy people that murmured against God to do looking. Then in that book, is one of the books that will come out. I said, a snake that is in a, hung, a hanging position is more important to God than human beings. Because the snake in that hanging position is now a healing snake. The snake has become a solution. So you cannot be better than a man that solves your problems. An animal that solves the problem of men is more important than those men. Tell me one person in the Bible that was remembered. If no service that made him prominent. Do you know why some people, are, some people believe they don't mind preaching? Preaching. What do you mean? What do you, I'm talking about practical life. Just do something about what I'm saying in six months. And everybody will know that you took a decision. Let me ask you to listen. Let, let me ask you to listen. Something you do at average level, how can it make you prominent? Something you do at average level. You want someone to encourage you to, to do something before you do it. How can that thing, how can that ordinary encouragement from outside bring you to preeminence? If you want to come to preeminence, you should be inspired. Oh, oh, oh am I saying something? Hebrew chapter 2, verse number 14. He died to solve a problem. Excuse me. Let me tell you something. That can you look up? Let me give this gift. Huh? The Lord told me something. He called me. He said, "Chris, I said yes, Lord." He said, "He said, look up. I want to help you." I said, "Help me." He said, "All the people that do, that are philosophers, huh? That wrote in the Bible. He said, all of them are dead." Then I said, "Why? Why are you telling me? Why are you telling me that?" He said, "Tell me one living man." That is as intelligent and as inspired as as Pastor Paul. Then he said, it is a shameful thing for those who are alive to live from the revelation of the dead because they are not relevant. So about 2,000 years ago, Apostle Paul died. And every day somebody said, First Corinthians. Ah, can't my name come in the Bible? If it is there, somebody say the book of Joshua. If it is somebody said book of Numbers. If it is somebody said the the sycamore the, the tree and Zacchaeus. Can they talk about the Ube tree in my village? All I need to do is to reposition mentally and know that it is a price you pay that brings you to preeminence. Excuse me. I have never be, I have never built my life on things people will do for me. I have never. May God for may God forbid me to that to go to my office there and try to build my life on things people will do for me. No, the Lucas Army cannot run on things people do for me. The Lucas Army should run on my debt. My life should be destroyed as an author. I'm not calling people on phone and worrying their lives. So that when you are connecting, you are connecting to honor, not to begin. Ah, Calvary was it a place of begin? Huh? 
One of the reasons why I didn't get married is because I didn't want a woman to look at me and tell me gibberish because she believes she gave me back to a child. Something that is not good will happen. I reason that way. <laughs> That's why I'll come back here in the night. Church, have I helped? 214 Hebrews. He said, For so much as the children are parakas of flesh and blood, he himself also likewise took place of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had power of death. That Excuse is... me, the word death came two times. I, I'm talking about service. Somebody, a problem came, and the, somebody didn't shout on the problem. Somebody didn't do night vigil on the problem. Somebody died to solve a problem. I am not repeating myself. But I would like you to hear me say to you this very deeply. Huh? The price people pay to achieve things will never be forgotten. Let me say it again. The way you will be remembered is controlled by the depth of your price. How excruciating your pain is. I, I said in the hanging serpent that Satan sustained himself in Lagos, in Nigeria. Through the price of evil men. The only place people don't want to pay price is the church. Because they are ignorant. When they are said to, to pay price, they say a pastor is cheating them. I say there is no cheating. Sacrifice is an ordinance. Ordinance is something that is as formidable as God himself. Glory cannot increase, cannot increase until God has taken something. So in chapter 22, 29 of the book of Hebrews, of Proverbs, he said, all diligent servants shall come before kings. I'm about to round up. I want to see scripture with yourself. One of the ways, excuse me, nothing frustrates pastors like prayer contractors. Believers that go from place to place looking for a man of God to pray for them, even when it is time for them to pray for other people. So somebody who is pushing his responsibility to another person, can he actually be happy? He says, there is no love in this church. There is no love. I say, how many people have you loved? Or because selfishness is making you to sit down and be looking for people that will give you money for every problem you have. And that is your interpretation of love. Swindling people. You created a problem and you're looking for a church member that will always be telling you, has your house rent come? You, you have a house, you cannot pay house rent. You must live in the streets. No, you don't need to have a house. We have not such people who are living inside the bus because we are waiting for them to get their own house from there. Let, let me help you. Let me help you with illustration. That building that was there, some people were living there. Now it was brought down. Now as I'm talking here and I don't know where they live. I, 
Now that's the definite this destiny of people who don't want to serve. The other place there's a bookshop. I met like about I don't want to maybe is it like about eight large number of people. Huh? We sack them. I don't know where they're living. When I come here, they sometimes they, they bath in the open. When I when, they, when I'm praying and they are buffing, I'll be saying to them, hurry up and get a house. Hurry up. Because I will soon give you a quick notice. Hurry up. Twenty-two, twenty-nine. Excuse me. Some people don't know. They say that the demon is attacking them. Or caught a husband. He's chasing them in the night. Somebody is lying down with them in the dream. Those things are small attack. The real attack is laziness. And it doesn't happen in the night. Confusion. Looking for rest when everything is wrong. Somebody is telling you you are emaciating now. Has he paid your, your, your for your school fees? Keep on emaciating until God hear you. Stay in pain until your God answers. The person who is telling you that is the way you're looking. Has he paid for your house rent? shares power only to people who are useful to him. Uh, in chapter 3 of Genesis, the Bible says, Ezekiel became in the cool of the day to look for Adam. Has he ever looked for you? Do you know the kind of woman you will be if God is always looking for you? Just because you're useful to that king. He said, Adam, 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 a begging her. Since how many months has God called your name in the night? Now, Joe, because there is something you're doing for him that another person will not be able to do. May God bring you there. Don't allow anybody to give you prophecy on greatness without responsibility. If somebody said, Laku to me or Bagara I saw in a vision you will soon be Nigerian president. Ask him the price you should pay. If he didn't tell you the price, that prophecy hasn't finished. Because the honor is measured in the pen. Ah, two weeks to come, all locals will be here. And what about Siraga? Ah? Look at some in Dinuku and in Dobere. Fatu everywhere. Ah? Man, it, it, and then oil will be flowing from the altar. It is some people that will remember those who carry the burden. Not those that have childish hearts. That come to God's presence to be emotional. Uh, when we are trying to build this church, we put pillar. That is what the pillar is agents, agents of this building that share burden. Now, now the glory, the glory of the building is with the pillar. Because they also carry burden. So Jesus said, if you suffer with me, you will reign with me. Can I go on or stop? What about if I stop? Have I not? Have I not helped you? Huh? Have I not? Take decision. Why I preach is because 
I remember in so many places, like what happened to me in CPM in 1920, Zina Zorotara, 28 years ago, when I was in a congregation and the guest speaker came to Benin and preached a sermon, and I was overwhelmed by the power of the truth. And I said, if this man has confirmed this by scripture, I'm not going to be the same man. I waited in that church until everybody left. And I went to the altar of CPM 28 years ago and took a vow of greatness. I was in the Martinia Street in Benin as a copper 31 years ago. And a man broke bread and showed me in Luke that this is the body of Jesus and this is the blood. I said, anybody who eats it shall not be sick. And I saw it with my Bible and, and I made vow that, they, that as long as Jesus' blood and the body is entering my mouth, I will not take it and take tablet. 31 years. In that meeting, we are about like, we are like about between 30 and 40, we are all coppers. 31 years. And I was at the back. I knelt down when the man was having communion. I said, if this is true, true, the blood of Jesus, and this is true to the body, if I put it in my mouth, I will not take another tablet. And I have not for 31 years. So my best time in this service is when I stand at that table. That is when the unction of this service comes on me. I will say, my king, if this is your blood, Ah, may, may tablet not help me. I told you that my neck was bent. Is he bending now? Ah? I, I, I saw something that touched me in the book of Numbers. The Bible said three is well for meeting, and I want to read it. And they were persuading trees to misuse themselves. That is one thing trees keep saying. Our service to God and man. They keep on saying our, our service. Olive said my service. Olive said my service to God and man. We never abuse. Will never be abused because this is the only reason I am Olive. Some people are allowing the reason they live to be abused, and they went to Fig. Fig said, Sweetness is what I am, I will render to God and man. So, since you were born, do you have anything to render? Me, Chris Christian, I know what I came to render. To render. I know what I came to render to God and man. So do you know what you came to render to? Can I ask you to stand? you told me in October when you took me to the site the, you, you took me to the site of that 104 room and told me something I will never forget the Kentucky told me something I, I mentioned something when we were having a meeting and after that meeting he dragged me me and him he said Shepard this thing you said is why I called you I said tell me why you called me he said you mentioned a problem and I had it then, then he said to me that if I am in that meeting and this problem is mentioned and I didn't do anything about it it means I'm irrelevant man. And then he said to me, I don't want to be relevant. This is what I want to do about what you said. Ah! October last year, I will never forget it. He said, how can he hear it? Ah! He said he was there when I said it. That if he was there when he said it, his honor is to solve it. There is no message 
that bless everybody the same way. Now, there is no message. There is no message. I'm through preaching. What is left for you is to know whether you have immortality or you will be nothing. But I made a vow to God to serve in my order. God will never get another man of God to serve like me. I said we. Huh? No, to give my kind of service. My kind. You say, Lord, just in a short prayer, help me to render my service. of the earth that that aspect of you might be useless you're going to say Lord I assume myself from captivity every part of me that is incarcerated by the king of darkness I prophesy the emancipation of that part of me I, I prophesy the emancipation I command myself Somebody say, Christian, I command you to be a zoo. From the dust of the earth. Say, oh, you dust of the earth, release me to serve my God. Release me to honor. Release me, Chuku, release me to glory. Release Chris, Christian. Did you say, La Toriakane or Papatayada? Laya Sistoriana Gaba. That Jehovah will punish the Wester, the Wester of human lives. The angel of devaluation shall be punished. The power that fight crowns. power over my life to lay it down and I have power to take it Chris Christian have power over his life and then I have power to take it this is a commandment I receive from the Lord oh heaven saturate me with your grace Saturate me, saturate me. Somebody, can you come out of bondage and stop living in fear? Wherever they tied you, wherever they tied. 
inside me every power that is confusing me denying me service to God and humanity excuse me from the time I got conscious to this particular time in my life there is nowhere I met a great man a great woman I, have, I forgot in the last 35 years Let me say again. In the last 35, 40 years, there is nowhere I, I met a great preacher or a great man that I forgot. Greatness is in service. You are alive and you said, you said to yourself that if I am in Locust Army or if I am in Nigeria or if I am from that village, everybody will know. Excuse me. Excuse me. Listen. I'm stop preaching. If what I said is correct, in another five years, give or take, everybody in Lagos will know that we are here. I, I, I am not telling you I will go about begging people money. I am telling you that I will keep destroying my life until the fire of pain go to heaven. When it was when it was to fall, I took anointing oil across the gate of the church and I was anointing the main road. And I didn't hear anything. Then I know that Lagos still need church. Lagos need firebrand people. Huh? No, not tired men. Not theologians. There is a difference between meeting God and being a theologian. We don't need theologians. We need firebrand apostles. Those that know their God that are ready for exploit. Ah, I wonder where Aja we get strength to resist me. That boy told me when we are the gate, they are praying. He told me, he said, said Shepard, I said, yes. He said, if you don't stop coming to church, I will not stop. I said in my heart, I fear for you. That's what I said in my heart. <laughs> he said, don't make vow about she following Shepard. Try how you keep working. Don't make vow. I will do something that will surprise you. <laughs> I'm not going to holiday. I have destroyed my passport. I said I have. No, I have destroyed my passport. If I have value, then the Americans should look for me. Going to America, uh, going to American embassy, and a small girl finished drinking tea. Never meant to view. Makes me just know that I'm irrelevant, ma'am. And it will never happen. Now, nah, Jim, will you come back? Am I the one that developed America? If I'm not the one that developed America, then I will develop, I should develop Nigeria. Excuse me. The, the president of Haiti died the other day. And uh, the, it's Haiti now. They started going to that country. America repatriated 3,000 people. And then more keep going. The more they go in, the more they're taking them back. When I look at them, take risk. In fact, by, by, by the boundary between Texas and, Me and Mexico, you will see thousands of migra immigrants everywhere. Huh? They said they take thousands of miles. I look at them on the screen. They are saying, Shame will not live your life. Shame, shame will leave you. If all you are trying to do is to leave the problem in your village and go to a place where people solve problems. 
American, did they not take care of their country? Then we should take care of our country. They're going to pray and say, Lord, I take new responsibility and new value. I take new responsibility. I wake up to honor. I wake up to fire. I wake up to honor. Somebody, nothing is impossible. I wake up to new glory. Saya toko seketeli arada. Where is the God of miracle? Hey! Somebody, can you wake up and do something unusual after this service? Service will never fail. Service will not fail. Sacrifice will not fail. Service will not fail. Crown is meant for servants. Thank you, Lord. One more scripture, Second Timothy, and that's our last prayer. Second Timothy chapter 2, 7 and 8. Second Timothy. No, 4. Thank you. Chapter 4, 7 and 8. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished. finished my course. I have kept the faith. Number eight. Henceforth, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at the day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. God is not partial. That crown came to Apostle Paul by service. Can you say with me, Lord Jesus? Give me the crown of service. Can I hear your prayer? Thank you for giving me the chance to accomplish this assignment. You told me in a vision that you will protect everything that is useful to you. Help the people to know that the bread I'm about to give is the body of a king who died. Dying wasn't pleasant, but he died today we remember him give us deep understanding into this truth so that by its revelation we can establish a more meaningful life it is not takers that are immortal it is servants a corn of wheat will abide alone until it is planted thank you Therefore, as we eat Jesus' broken body, 33 years and a half Jewish Messiah, help us to tap into all the opportunities that service and sacrifice provides in the name of Jesus. Therefore, let everyone that eats receive energy to make him part. The hour of religion is past. Redemption came to us because somebody saved. A lot of situations around us will be altered 
if we genuinely serve. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I'm about to eat to you in bread, servant of the Most High. As I eat to you, let my sins be forgiven. Let my iniquities be pardoned. Jesus, as I eat to you, be gracious to me in service. Let me receive new strength and insight to serve. Jesus, as I eat to you, service give me immortality father service will give us immortality as we eat you in bread form the name of god the father the name of god the son the name of god the holy spirit i thought somebody would shout a big amen Somebody, can you lift up your hand? <laughs> Make a demand on that, on the blood. Somebody ask for the glory of God to be shown in your life. Go ahead. Receive strength to win new battles. Serve diligently. Give you boldness. Boldness, come on. Father, this is a blood that made everything good in us to multiply. As we drink, we are alive forever. In the name of God the Father, Son, Holy Spirit.
is good because he gave, he gave us something. We say God is good because we served him very well. <laughs> say with me Lord Jesus if I build a house for you you will build for me. Jesus my real name. Can you say amen and hear yourself? Amen. <laughs> 
Yesichuku ogenyani hai na yo Yesichuku ogenyani Yesichuku ogenyanyi hela yoya Yesichuku ogenyanyi kuluka Ni hino 
abundant I know you see thank you when you say that uh, a sermon doesn't bless everybody equally there are some people here today who are blessed really and then some that look at the message as just like every other message if you are among those who are blessed the opportunity is there for these 10 days now to showcase that you are actually blessed by this message because local Sammy will be celebrating 25 years 25 years anniversary of local Sammy in 10 days time in, in, in 10 days time the army will take a quantum leap and the army will be like no other local Sammy is taking a radical turn it is left for you to be part of that uh, team and then as you serve even as we prepare towards it God of immortality will take you to your own throne in the mighty name of Jesus. Put the hands together for Jesus for having our shepherd. It is, it is absolute truth all the way. May God open your eyes to more revelation in the mighty name of Jesus. Put the hands together for Jesus once again. If today is your very first day of worshiping with us on a Sunday, can you just wave your hand? Today is your first day of worship with us on a Sunday. Can you be standing on your feet? You, can you be standing on your feet if today is your first day? We have a church for you. You are welcome in the name of, of the, the Lord. Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all over you. Lord, you are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. 
worshiper of mankind, you are welcome to Locus Army International. Your life will not be remain the same again in Jesus' name. The Locus Army is a corporate company of Messiahs, born to raise an altar for the capital Messiah in the heart of Africa. She's an end time Messianic church, born to the glad rapture and the millennial kingdom of God. She's bent on making sure that the Lion of Judah is declared on earth as the last Adam. The covenant of eternal life, Zoe, protection, preservation, and immortalization of mortals is our work in Locus Army International. Jesus Christ has tested death for all local soldiers, so death must not be allowed to exert dominion over us. Jacket of life and immortality are continuously being disputed in the midst of the army. Today, in this service, the jacket of immortality was disputed to everyone as the message was going on. Put hands together for Jesus. The Lord of Harvest is calling on this army to a life of practical evangelism and soul winning. Every soldier of this army must understand that this exercise of soul winning is very paramount and must be taken seriously. It is time to fish for the master. Because the lion of the tribe of Judah will reign on earth a second time. Let's take our palace confession. Say to our neighbor, 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 God of life and immortality is in you, is with you, always the environment. Pledges and vow redemption, all pledges and vow made in Galilee 2021 at the Galilee campground, and all other pledges made towards the building project, even the project going on in the church, should be redeemed. We are therefore using this opportunity to call on all those who made financial pledges and vow to please redeem as quickly as possible. You can see the account number there on the screen and the notice board. As you do so, God will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. The radio program. Radio program tag in its presence by a shepherd still runs in several channels within the country. Put hands together for Jesus. In Lagos is the Inspiration FM. Channel 92.3 on Sundays, time 6 30 a.m. to 7 a.m. Put hands together for Jesus. In our nature is Wazobia FM, channel 93.7, Saturdays, 8 30 a.m. In Enugu is Urban FM, channel 94.5, Saturdays, 9 p.m. In Kano is Ray Power FM, channel 106.5. Saturdays 9 a.m. In Aba, Israel FM, channel 99.1 on Sunday 7:30 a.m. In Kano, is AIT on Saturdays by 9 a.m. That's AIT TV. Then Portacourt is Wave FM, channel 91.7 Saturdays 9:30 a.m. to 10 a.m. In Abuja, is DSTB Wazobia Max channel. 2:59 on Saturdays, 12 noon to 12:30 p.m. In Bauchi is Albarka FM, channel 97.5. Saturdays, 5 p.m., 5:30 to 6 p.m. Put your hands together for Jesus. Gradually, gradually, we are taking over. Because Sammy will be aired almost everywhere in the country in less than no time. All the ministry books by Shepard and Zoe Ministerial Practices are all available in the media bookshop. You will find books, CDs, and DVD messages, calendar, t-shirt, sticker, Zoe Hall and Zoe Mantu. Today's message will be readily available immediately after the service in audio CD format. We encourage you to buy for yourself and for your friends as a tool of evangelism. The following departments are need of volunteers who would like to serve as church workers. The evangelism and the follow-up team, the choir department, the sanctuary cleaners department, the ushering department, security department, transport department, the facility maintenance department, the creation and beautification department, the band and priest team. Interested persons should meet the president pastor to signify their interest. Also, the children department need more teachers to join in building the faith of our children. If you desire to join the children department, you call meet the resident pastor. The church official website is up and running. The site contact address is www.locosami.org. We should encourage our friends and relations all over the world to visit the website. We also encourage to advertise our church program on social media links like the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. 2021 Prophetic Declaration. May I invite all of us to be standing at this time and to decree after me 
2021 prophetic declaration. 2021 is a blood year for me. It is a year of great harvest. Marvelous exploits and explosive miracles. In 2021, God will launch me into limitless dominion and governance. 2021 is a special year for me. The shadow of the Almighty is my secret place. And I will enjoy special angelic services. In 2021, the strength of Israel will beat down all my adversaries and I'll dwell in perfect peace. Whatever I lay my hands to do shall blossom and prosper. The year for my lifting is born and I cannot be stopped. I'll be healthy and rich from September to December. In 2021, I will enjoy the continuous support of God. Not only I shall not die, nothing good around me shall die. 2021 is a glorious year for me. It is a year like no other. It shall be a year like no other for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Put the hands together for Jesus as we take your seat. The synod, put the hands together for Jesus, is coming up. Wonders of the last age. That's the local Swami synod from October 8th to 10th. Put the hands together for Jesus. The synod is now three ceremonies in one. We are having the graduation ceremony within the period. And now the latest one, 25 years anniversary of local Swami. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be wonderful. All the capital locals are going to be here in Lagos. We are going to have a very brief meeting, the planning committee. We'll be having a very brief meeting ready after the service. I want to encourage every able hand in the church to be part of this movement. Because if you labor for the Almighty God, your reward will be sure. So we'll be having a brief meeting, all heads of departments. If you consider yourself able enough, join us. There are so many activities, so many things to be done. Planning, administration, accommodation, logistics, a lot to do. So I want to encourage all the women, all the men, all the youths, all the heads of all the different uh, departments in the church, you are going to be remaining behind for a very brief meeting. I think Japan will have maybe two words for us and then we'll continue. So please, I encourage us to remain behind. Of course, you know, the advertisement for the, in the magazine coming up for the graduation is almost done. So if you have taken a slot, 5,000 and 10,000 for half page and full page, we equally know that uh, the anniversary broad show will be coming. That will be very fantastic, very, very awesome. So we give you notice about that and the beast for that as well. More announcements were made by the shepherd. Put hands together for Jesus. Praise God. The writer of Ecclesiastes says there is time for everything. The both the chronos and the carriers of time of this period is um, ministers meeting. Angels are involved. God is involved. We are involved. Praise God. So we want everyone to be involved. Having had that message, whatever you can do to support uh, the Lucas Army Ward and her friends are looking towards this side. Praise God. People are excited. They want to celebrate with us. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Somebody told me yesterday from Ambassador, I booked their, their flight. The other person, they booked in Port Harcourt. Just, just want to be here from all over. I mean, started calling the regionals to because of um, the, the the 
anniversary to the silver jubilee who's all the who is who is coming here from next week next week from next week that's us will be here monday amen pastors will be here and um, you know i told you that god asked me to dance singers that's my first time in 25 years to the Oden, Oden singers those are minister alone that's you know ministers who ordain them officially so that they can grow in rank so that meeting is going to involve singers the choirs from the regions from southeast south south north north southwest will be there in that meeting on on the on the seventh evening 6 p.m with me before the program takes off amen because we want everybody in the world to participate and um, we are not taking it for granted praise god it's not only jubilee we're also talking about bringing a foundational stone to officially declare this place new jerusalem Thank you, Kenneth. So, celebrating 25th year of the Locust and Silver Jubilee. Put your hand together. Are you shouting? <laughs> Somebody shout! <laughs> Great. Kennedy, thank you. Make sure he's there in Facebook and uh, and YouTube so that everybody can hear about it. Put your hand together for Jesus. escape from death some of us have escaped death just by one minute just one minute it just passed and never happened just one minute it just escaped joining that car and then it happened <laughs> so it's not here that we it's not him that run but that is a God that show mercy 25 years. Anu mujuru nekele. 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 Let me tell you what will happen to Sundays. Let's just do like caricature. Just dance. Just dance. Just dance. Just. Just dance. 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 Just dance
just just please just hold hand with somebody to thank God for me. Don't worry about yourself. I want you man anymore. I want you man. That's something he did for me. Anu mojuru nekele. Anu mojuru nekele. Anu mojuru nekele. On a Kennedy, show on the basset. Show on the basset and scream. On the mountain, on the mountain, on the mountain, on the You never leave us. You said that you would. 
Let me round up. The synod is two Sundays away. Two Sundays. Just two Sundays. After this Sunday, hallelujah. Invite everybody. Uh, please, I'm thinking that, that you should have a card that way. Huh? Yeah, so that card is like that so that we can invite those that love us and those that we love. Very beautiful card. Praise God. Pastor Israel, take note from Kennedy. Amen. Amen. Amen now. Yes. On Friday morning here, Thursday night, there will be Passover service into October. October. Yeah. Amen. The Passover service here. On Thursday night, Friday morning, for all the locals, remember you will come with your Passover seed, come with your shofar, come with your white, so that we can say bye-bye to September. <laughs> Put your hand together. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I've announced that meeting, amen. The synod, we, uh, we'll be having meetings, synod committee uh, from, just like the chairman said, short meeting. The printing of book is going on. In fact, I have gotten some already on my table. You will not see it until two weeks' time. Praise God. Praise God. That work, we need your support. And those that, those that made, made pledges, the work, you know, we're going to do ceiling there tomorrow. And then paint children's hall. Amen. Praise God. Huh? do ties there. And so, whatever that should be, any pledge you made is necessary so that we can continue the work tomorrow morning. And then, um, we are negotiating with Caterpillar people who want to also bring them here this week to... Don't forget that we are doing extensive invitation of local Army World. Mercy. Those who are who, which... If you don't come here, maybe you will know, maybe you will think you are a grasshopper. But if you have to be here on Sunday, so that when we bring our hand, we will look at ourselves. <laughs> Amen. And eat our cake. And then bring our friends to the house of immortality. So the compound needs to be like this area. We need to bring the caterpillar to grade it. Now fall some walls there and go around. Neat compound, this place great. Amen. Very beautiful compound. Amen. Since we tell locals, I mean, we have bought the land. Everybody wants to come and see it. Praise, put your hand together. <laughs> Amen. Church, are you are you not happy now? <laughs> Let me explain something to you. Let me tell you something you don't know. It's only in local army that one set of people is trying to develop two, camp, two camps at a time. It is those who are who develop Galilee. It's still developing here. Ah, huh? those that turn Galilee that way, it is. It's now trying to take another burden of turning here. Ah, huh? it's one set. Is it not awesome? In some places, some people will take some portion. Why some people will take some portion? Here, one set of people is doing everything. Put your hand together for us, God is. And then some other people are just are just looking. <laughs> May God reward you comprehend extensively in Jesus' name. You may be seated. Praise God. The relevant books are still here losing the silver in two here. Are you clapping your hand? Third dimension is still in the number. Sixth place just came. God has a lion face. Family deliverance. Are you clapping your hand? Can you rise? Can you rise? Lift your hand. Keep looking at me. Keep lift your hand. Say with me, Chris Christian. If it's truly true that your God is a miracle working God. He will surprise me this week. If it's truly true, there is anointing on your head. That anointing will speak for me. If it's true, true, you are a servant of God. 
I receive miracle from your God. Can you stretch your hand towards the altar and keep your eyes open and keep saying it? If you are genuine, anointed, if that message is from God, Lastoria Grana. Can you pray and say, Lord, let my value advance? Can I hear your prayer? Advance my value. Say that prayer before we share grace. Let my value appreciate my value, the value of Christ Christ. The value of locals and let that value appreciate. Let that value appreciate. Let that value appreciate. Sotolia Rakana la Baba Santa. Let somebody I can hear your prayer. Let that value appreciate. From now, somebody say it, this last word. I'm going home with my God, and my God will reveal His power to my enemies, to my situations. Can you say it and hear yourself? The God I serve, the God of life and immortality, Kanala to Sheketelia Ratapana. Show your strength, O oh God. Somebody, I can hear your prayer. 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 So do do ba 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 la tasakata. Zedi di daratolia rakata talab. Zulia rato kala tatapala. Show your strength, O oh God. Thank you, Father. Father, your people are on their way home. Everyone is shielded. Everyone is covered. I declare everyone untouchable. Say with me, I conquer dryness. I destroy business for mine. I command prosperity. Can you go ahead and command a door to open for you from God? Miracle door. Go ahead. I command a miracle door. Miracle door. Miracle door. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. I said to somebody, goodness and mercy shall follow you. All the days of your life. You shall dwell in your house and God's house. Now and forevermore. Father, for all the locals that are being attacked anywhere that need help, I leave this mantle above my head to declare Jesus the healer. Therefore, if they are covenant people, let the angel bring help to them. The determination of the enemy to take their life will never succeed. It will never prevail. Strength upon strength by the oath of immortality shall God lavish on them. In the name of Jesus. Can you say amen and hear yourself? Stretch your hand and pray on these tools. Tools of miracles. Father, these tools shall bring miracles. These tools shall bring deliverance. These tools shall bring signs. In Jesus, my name. Can you say amen and hear yourself? There is something God asked me to do. I want 10 people to give me a prayer request that requires urgency. 10 people. Write a short prayer request, put a seed on it, and give it to me now before we share grace. Just 10 people. The pastors help me talk in tongues. There is something you want intervention on. Can you write it? Write it in prayer request. 
and then attach a seed to it and give it to my hand. You want intervention in something. You want intervention immediately. You want to tell everybody about it. You want to tell everybody about that. If you have written that, can you come with it? Put a seed in it and come and give me. You must make sure that that request come into my hand. Stoblan to sedi glish toro brand and stoli brando sito rush. Lord, it is done. Zandu brando sito selis. Zento setenesta. Zento satenosta. Zayu stumble sanosa. Star close mondele hiska. He asked me to serve this way. Smondlo stara. Zipron mosetu shida. Keep coming. Nasto blake renu soto. Thank you for intervention. Osanda shota listena. Iria soto granted. Stestolina mando proto skelia. It was in God's presence that we decreed it. I bring answer urgently. Clan no intervention. Intervention. Man stoli bring on security. Intervention is coming. Darobra to Sardine. Intervention. Just believe it is the settled. Ban to Skelia Rano Sadis. Dan Dobalatistora. I am Chris Christian, servant of the Most High. Rano Sopland de Clato Sardina. Don't wait this opportunity, just keep coming. Zila to shake a deep run, not a bottle skiller. Zaya no band of cellar Just keep coming. Nam potila no masala. Somebody keep coming. Mans plosa. Zia do brand of stala. Mando storia kalada basanta. It's accomplished. Can you keep coming? Mosto lodo baratisi. The Lord asked me to say to say it. We have. Abezi na unge ya. Ekele dira. Out of this, hey, look, you will get the request and get it to me back in my office. Accomplish from Canada. Thank you. Yes, come. If you have not come, come. Just come. somebody I don't need to do prophecy on sacrifice but God is asking you to do something about the program obey him where are you come bring the seed it shall be done where are you it shall be done There are four more people. They are don't waste time. There are four more people. God needs seed from you for intervention. Don't waste time. I'm still waiting for you.
There are three more people there. Don't allow this opportunity to go. I'm just calling you. If you don't have the money, make it a pledge. Make a pledge. I'm trying to help somebody. Can you come? Can you come? Is there somebody God has to do something special for him in this service? Is there somebody like that? There is something God asks you to do for the anniversary. Can we all rise? Father, your people are on their way. Be gracious to them. You, you said you want to contribute something. What is that? You you make drinks. You you small drinks. You bring one fifty. One fifty. God bless you. Go back. He said that he makes drinks. That he will bring 150 bottles on anniversary day. <laughs> Is there somebody you're hearing me and God wants you to do something? He asked me to ask that. Change will come. You want to do something? Give money. You said? Yes, yes. So you want to buy me microphones? How many? Put your hand together for this brother. Thank you. So buy it. He said he doesn't like this microphone. That he's buying me four microphones. <laughs> Is that somebody, another person that wants, yes, yes, tell me. She buy me a hand free. She buy me a hand free. So buy it. That God asked you to buy me a hand free. Put your hand together for Jesus. <laughs> yes. You, you are buying me. You're pledging money. Put your hand together. He has pledged money. Put your hand together. <laughs> yes, you bring on hundred thousand. Somebody jam your hand together. I told you, Mama. Mama, get it in the Okay. You bring. You give me money. Is it today? When? Before the anniversary. I'm going to eat you for one. Mama. I said to Mama, what did she say today? She said, not today. <laughs> Can I get one more person? You know, people are, I, I, I just... One more person that wants, one more last person. God is putting it in your heart to do something. Why not? Yes. Yes. Give me a call. Oh, you, you transfer money now. Somebody jam your hand together. Great. Great. So, blessed be the name of the Lord, the Lord Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, who through the blood of his son, Demons from our sins, from all nations, tongues, people, and tribes of the earth have made us kings and priests. To him be glory and honor, praise and thanksgiving, all without end. Amen. Tell somebody your miracle just started. Did you say, Yeah, 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 yeah? Thank you. Thank you. 
those who are for that meeting, don't go. Thank you. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. 